My name is Ken Hara, assistant professor at the Aeronautics and Astronautics in Stanford University. Uh, I work on computational plasma physics, mainly for electropropulsion and other plasma applications. Uh, I work on electrostatic uh, propulsion systems and uh, Hall thrusters or Hall effect thrusters. A lot of agencies like you know the military, like Air Force uh, and NASA are uh, looking into uh, electrostatic propulsion devices. So it's just, I think, kind of a natural topic to study. There's multiple phases when it comes to product. I think the first phase is there's an academic process that people do proof of concept and develop prototypes. Then the next phase typically becomes like, now that we have a prototype, let's launch it and use it. And the third phase is there's gonna be a market. So the people start using it and different competitors would have their own. And the fourth phase, I believe, is when computational you know, modelers are gonna be needed because now the competition becomes, we already demonstrated all these technologies who can make it more efficient. I think that's when the computational modelers can help. That's why we are trying to develop the new model so that when those phases come, like, you know, we can help the society. If you take the physics-based models, we have fluid models and kinetic models. Developing both to high fidelity is very important because plasma is really interesting and unique. There's the individual particles that move based on colliding with others or colliding with a solid material. But there's also the fluid aspect, the collective aspect, that if you take all the particles, what, what is that collective behavior going to do? And that's why we need to have both the kinetic models and the fluid models. Fluid moment model is just the name that I wanted to um, differentiate from other fluid models. How the fluid equations are formulated is based on the kinetic equation. We take the moments of the kinetic equation. So just imagine you have like 100 particles with different velocities. If you integrate all the particles, you get the density within a, a controlled volume. If you collect all the velocities of those particles, you can get the mean velocity based on those 100 particles. So those are called mean velocities or bulk velocities or fluid velocities. So the fluid equations means that we're solving for those densities, bulk velocities, and energy. And the fluid moment just means that we're taking the moment of the kinetic equation. So it implies that I'm trying to capture some kinetic effects in the fluid formulation. My hope and my dream is that the codes that I develop and the theory that I am developing right now would be useful for these technologies in the near future. And all my students that I interact with will be leading the next generations um, after them so that the research is a meaningful thing for the society.